now. Um, okay, so with something like um, tachycardia, uh, you know, what I would do is I, I would definitely cancel the label, uh, like I cancel my belief in tachycardia, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind, or God did not create tachycardia, so it's not real. For me, the as it says in lesson 14 of the course, um, you know, you're picking these up, some of these are one's personal stuff, and some of this is what we're picking up from the collective. Now, when you pick up something from the collective, you're also expressing how it should manifest, uh, and all the biochemical characteristics. So it's like you're, exp you're picking up a piece of software from the collective, and how it should express, you know, the label. Let's say tachycardia, or it could be kidney failure, or it could be cancer. So one of the things I do is I just see what are the common labels for a condition. Like, I'll give you an example. I had gout. Now, if you go to any doctors, they, you know, the, you know, within the collective, if you say gout to a doctor, they get very excited and talk about your uric acid level in the bloods, in your blood. You say, oh, you've got high uric acid level. So I would like, I cancel my belief in gout. I also cancel my belief in high uric acid levels. You know, and uh, I'd also, um, also they say things like when you eat too much protein, then you're likely to get a gout attack. Like don't eat too much protein, you know, like, don't eat like a ton of liver because you should get a gout attack if you do that. You see, that's the program. So you need to cancel, uh, cancel my belief in that, you know, liver gives me gout attacks, cancel my belief in high uric acid. I also cancel my belief in gout, which is the overriding label for the whole thing. So I would, I would cancel the, the mother label, the overarching label, and, and the key sub-labels as well. Uh, also, you know, things that it seems is triggering the attacks, I would cancel that because you can cancel the things that seem to trigger it. Like when I'm in a, a bad energy environment, I tend to get an attack. Well, you know, how are you registering a bad energy? Because you can cancel that. You know, like God did not create bad energy environments which trigger my tachycardia. Mm -hmm. So it's not real, you know. Now, when you, you see, like, if, if at home, listen to classical music, there's no attacks, but as soon as you're in a difficult situation, or, it's, or if there's exciting news, like, if, the, if it's just boring all day, there's no problem. But if suddenly there's, like, a, <laughs> it's like, you know, oh, you won the lottery, uh, oops, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult now. So, but understand, you know, the thing with cancelling beliefs is that the ego does not register anything unless it's meaningful. It doesn't even register anything. So, like, um, I, I, I'm, I, my history is I was a food addict. So like cakes and chocolates and donuts, you know, but actually, you know, a do you know with the Course in Miracles, a donut is the same as a pen. You know, a donut is the same as a pen. It's meaningless. You know, like when I see a pen, I do not get obsessed about it when I put it on the table. But if you gave me a donut then, and I put, and it was left on the table, then I'd be, I'd just be aware of the donut for the whole evening. You know, I wouldn't be aware of anything else. So it's a meaningful item. And when the ego registers something as meaningful, it can, it can then initiate a program. You know, okay. I register protein, or I register a donut, or I register an exciting event. But an exciting event, you know, one event from another event is, only, is no different to the observer unless the ego has a, has a projected meaning on it. Now, if the ego registers events, like it registers time by making time meaningful, it registers location by making location meaningful, it registers a separate separation by making separation meaningful. So, so if you've got an illness, when the things within the belief system that are registered as meaningful can be a trigger for, you know, for an attack of something. Okay. But also, if, I can, if my ego can make something meaningful, the image of it or the energetic of it meaningful, it can, it can take out that projection through cancelling or God did not create it. God, God has not created exciting events. Exciting <laughs> events do not, exciting events do not um, exist in the eternal now, in the holy instant. There is no such thing. The only thing that can have an exciting event register is a separated ego in time. So, 
Otherwise, they'd just be uh, pure witnessing of flow states or t the timeless now. In the timeless now, there's no sense of limitation registering that this moment and this event in the future is more exciting than this moment. In fact, the state of constant, the state of constant peace and presence is the same in, a, in an empty room, in a park, uh, and also the same in a rock band. You know, it doesn't change. When you're in an ego, fluctuating states and fluctuating events are registered because the ego projects different types of meaning onto things. That can only happen from the level of the ego. So the, one of the things I learned, like with my mother, is like you can strip the meaning from absolutely everything. If you, if you strip 100% of the meaning from an event, from a thing that your, your ego holds, from a, an illness, um, if you, that's called transcending. If you 100% transcend it, then it's no longer registered from the level of the ego. So, you know, like, uh, so before, like, you know, I hardly notice donuts nowadays. You know, you can put a chocolate cake in it because I was willing to transcend donuts as being a meaningful object. Mm -hmm. It's no longer an exciting, exciting thing. I mean, the position of neutrality around it. But you can make, you know, so the class, let's say there is an environment where it seems exciting or there's a news that can seem, well, you can, by, God did not create that. That's meaningless. God did not create that. That's real. Why can you safely say that? Because that's an ego projection. There's a natural, innate spiritual wisdom, eventually, that comes. Not, maybe not, it takes a while. That can navigate life without the ego needing to label different objects all the time and, and give you information. So, but there's great, you know, like someone was saying, labeling can mean the thing of an attack happening. You know, like uh, someone says, you know, if the doctors label this food high probability for gout, and my ego knows that and sees that food, I can have a gout attack, a literal horrific pain, to, not because that thing has power, mm -hmm. but because of the projected meaning. As um, uh, So, um, I, you know, I'm also a hypnotherapist, and uh, they, we also know that the power of beliefs, you know, you can like, install mm -hmm. allergies, in, into people, you know, and, uh, and they can have an allergy or, you know, or you can say, uh, you can, all of these things, people with multiple personality disorder, as Hawkins would talk about, you know, when they flip from one belief system, one personality to another, mm -hmm. they can change their eye color, one personality can be diabetic, mm -hmm. and as they flip into the other personality, it's non-diabetic, so as they flip from jackal, you know, they eat a cake and they go and get the hypoglycemia. And as they flip into their eye, their eye colors change, and 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 they can and they can they can eat you know a hundred chocolate cakes and run around like a lunatic. So that's the power. You, you know, I come from a medical background, but when you this whole world is a belief system, and we all project that power comes from what the world believes, but the real power is in consciousness. You know, that's where that's the the the, the powerhouse of the world. And everyone's just be believing in bunches of collective medical belief systems, money belief systems, all kinds of things. So as you start to get spiritual experience, you realize the power isn't in believing what's out there. The power is in deleting that and, and allowing consciousness to come through. That's where the ultimate power. Hence the saints can perform miracles. Uh, in classical Indian literature, they talk about the cities. People can levitate being two places at the same time. It's like, as you break the identification of the limited ego, the, the experience of oneness. You can know, oh yeah, you know, she's thinking that. Oh, this person's just about to come in the room today. You see, you're breaking down this limited idea and you're starting to get glimpses of God's omniscience, omnipresence, omnipotence, as you break down the limited aspects of, of the ego. The, so, you know, with, a, with an illness that gets triggered, I'd cancel the illness, cancel the key belief systems around the illness, and everything that triggers you, rendered that mean, meaningless, or say God did not create it, it's not real. And each time you go into the environment, you should check progress, and eventually it should be, that environment should be the same as just walking in the park yes. with the squirrels, yes. you know. Yes. Walking in the park with squirrels is just as exciting as being in, in, a, in a rock band, you know, it should, shouldn't be any different. Yeah. Because as the states become constant, you see, only the ego can, can experience high and low, yeah? 
when you're in a separated state, yeah, when you're in a separated state, you can experience, uh, because when there's no ego, you go into the highest levels of consciousness and they become stable, because the ego is the block to the highest levels of consciousness. Or as the Course in Miracles would say, uh, the ego is the block to love. You know, let's say love, the ego is, I'd say, based in fear and separation, experiencing a separated state. Mm. As you do that, you go into the, the highest levels of love and presence, which become constant. Mm. Yeah, constant. they become constant because you're you're at the, you're more or less at the top level, so your fluctuations become less. You know, they tend to be more stable and more more of a witnessing higher state. Um, when you're in low level, when you're identified with the ego, then you can go like donut, very very happy, no donuts, unhappy. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so those fluctuations of states, be and when you're very low, you can get, you know, depressed, no donuts today, it's shortage of donuts in the UK. So it's like suicide. You see, so it's like that. Whereas, to someone enlightened. You know whether there's no more donuts in the world or not. You know it's 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 not even registered. You know donuts what? I didn't register there was donuts. A problem with donuts. So, but that thing can happen with what's called triggering events that trigger health attacks as well. But you know if the ego didn't register anything, nothing's going to happen. Uh, 